Second major core category and strategy I want to talk about is leveraging life insurance as a business building and wealth creation tool. One of the biggest scams out there for our benefit is when we pay these little premiums for these life insurance companies to pay us what's inside the policy in terms of cash value, or sadly when to suffer a heart attack, stroke, or cancer, or sadly when to pass away. That is one of the biggest scams out there for our benefit. People say, what are we talking about, Matt? I thought life insurance is only when you die. Life insurance is only a ripoff when you die, when you don't pay the premium. You wanna hold an insurance company to its feet? Pay the damn premium that you promised yourself to and for 10 years or 20 years or 30 years, however the term is, and watch this life insurance company obligated by law, obligated by contracts, that something happens to you with inside the claims of that policy that they are obligated to pay you X amount of dollars at your demise, or in this case, in living benefits at the dealing of a heart attack, stroke, or cancer, and you survive it, or if none of that stuff happens, you don't die too soon, you don't suffer from a heart attack, stroke, or cancer while you're alive and you survive it, and you're, and you're soldiering forward, but none of that stuff happens to you, guess what happens to money side life insurance, permanent life insurance contract. Specifically, I'm talking about index universal life, whole life, and universal life. You know what you can do with that money? You can use that for, yes, investment purposes into other things. You can withdraw from cash value, either withdraw the cash to put into it or loan against the cash value, money. And for some cases, a lot of these policies have what they call zero cost wash loan provisions, that there's no cost for you to borrow your own money because that's what a lot of the trolls out there say that there's cost of you borrowing your own money. Well, after a certain parameter, a certain time frame, there's zero cost loan wash privileges from withdrawing or loaning from your money. By the way, loaning money from your policy, there's no cost. Zero cost wash loan happens after a certain period of time that the policy is enforced. That being said, you can use that money to buy businesses. You can use that money to buy equipment for your business. You can use that collateral in your life insurance policy to expand and grow your company. There's so many different ways that life insurance policies can be leveraged as a wealth creation and business building tool to help you build your business. Now, here's the thing though. A lot of people look at instant gratification. Like they want money now. For example, they look at life insurance policy as, if I put my money now, can I take it out within 30 days? Zero chance, zero chance. I'm gonna take more of a conservative approach and for whoever's watching this content, I wanna educate you that if people out there are telling you you can take your money out of your life insurance policy right away and there's no hard string provisions against it, there's no strong parameters against it, they may be misguiding you. I'm just saying all, they may be misguiding you, making you feel that a life insurance policy should be treated as a liquid checking account, which is, one of the worst ways to look at life insurance possible, which is called instant gratification. Now, I've always invoked delayed gratification in my life, and guess what? Long-term, it's paid off. I've always looked at a lot of my business decisions after making a lot of mistakes as long-term business decisions to make sure I'm staying in business for the long-term. Why? I got long-term goals. I got long-term aspirations. I want to create generational wealth. I want to create generational wealth for three generations at least deep. It's myself, my kids, and my grandkids. That's a lot of money that I need to create generational wealth, not generation wealth, but generational wealth. I need a lot of money for that. And so when we're looking at leveraging life insurance policies as ways to create wealth, there's specific strategies and how to do it. Now, I'm attaching some videos here that you guys can check out later on, but these videos here are used for very specific ways. So therefore you can leverage the life insurance industry to help fund and finance things that work for you and not against you so you can really create a new cash flow stream for you because people already understand, man, I need more assets than liabilities, but you know what leveraging life insurance allows you to do? Leveraging step one allows you to do, the first strategy allows you to do, have more cash flow coming in than you have expenses going up. So when people say assets are liabilities, I say cash flow over expenses. And the moment expenses go up, guess what you need to do? You either need to decrease your expenses or to increase your cash flow. But the moment it reverses, that's when you come into a lot of trouble. And by the way, this is what happens when people want instant gratification. One of, the, one of the seven sins I coach our entrepreneurs to avoid is to avoid on living on your business and your income on that business too soon. I've always capitalized, I've always saved my money. First seven years of our marriage, Sheena and I rented a house before we bought this house. For many years, Sheena and I bought, didn't buy fancy, fancy cars, although we could have. We were making half a million dollars a year, some $50,000, we were making a million dollars a year. We didn't buy fancy, fancy cars for a long while. Shoot, I didn't have my first pair of Jordans until I was age 42 years old. <laughs> now I got a bunch of them. Because I invoked this thing called delayed 
gratification. Not everybody was making out. My children made out. They got what they needed. My kids got J's. I didn't just get J's, but delayed gratification on my end.